All right, YouTubers. Now, we're coming to the home stretch of a few things I got left. I don't got much left. Um, but this one's going to be a big one. Okay, reason why? Because this is basically where the bulk of my money went to. Okay, don't get me wrong. Uh, the few things you've seen, um, the, the radiators uh, and the uh, water block uh, was, was not cheap. But this stuff was n more expensive, okay? And I'm not going to open all this, really. I'm just going to show y'all how much I purchased of all this stuff. Um, and then I'll open the rings. I might, I'll open those, maybe. Yeah, I'll open the rings and we'll see those. But the most of the little stuff, I'm just going to open one of the boxes. I just want to show you how many I have and how much I purchased of it. And then um, of what's all in here. Um, what's all going in this build. I mean, not. I mean, I might got, like, so I, if you read my, watch my first video, um, y'all know that uh, I said I might do some overkill. So some of this stuff is probably more than what I need. <coughs> and also, I accidentally bought some stuff I didn't need or... Uh, well, I needed maybe a couple of them, but not as many as I bought. So, um, let's go through this uh, plethora of stuff, okay? Um, I did a lot of research on fittings, y'all. A lot of researches. And I I come to find out that, um, you know, there's Bits Power. There's, uh, of course, Monsoon. Um, there's Alpha Cool. There's... Um, um, cool lance. There's uh, water, uh, water cooled. Uh, there's there's uh, quite a few different uh, manufacturers of of um, fittings. Okay, but I end up going with uh, monsoon fittings. Now, monsoon is probably one of the smaller uh, companies doing fittings. But I liked what they were doing with their fittings. A little bit different than all the other companies' fittings. Um, what they do, uh, they have compression fittings. Now, the compression fittings are what most water cool builds are using nowadays. Is compression fittings, okay? They use uh, <coughs> um, uh, compression fittings that fit um, two parts where you um, take them together um, just say, say I have one fitting here and the other fitting here, and then you have the tube. Um, one fitting will go into the end of the tube. The other fitting um, with a washer will go on the other end of the tube, and they would compress into each other, and they would keep it sealed. But what, what the problem is, when you pull the, the tube, um, basically the only thing holding it together is this compression of the two fittings together, but they're not digging or they're not grabbing onto the tube so technically you can pull off and boop it'll pop out so um monsoon came up came up with something called their um hard line uh or their premium hard line fitting um which i'm going to show you about these now this is another fitting of some type and i did get some uh fittings from a company called xspc because uh monsoon didn't make uh the parts uh these type of fittings that i needed uh, so I had to use a different fitting manufacturer, but all they are are extension fittings or something like that. Monsoon don't really do that. Um, they make a lot of fittings, but they, they make a lot of different fittings, but they didn't have the one I needed um, for this and uh, a, a valve fitting, which they didn't have valve fitting. Because I do want a release, or a, uh, a release valve or a uh, drain valve um, to put on my system. I'm hoping I can do that because, you know, if you, if y'all know anything about water cool systems, anybody out there to do, um, y'all know that uh, you know you need to drain them once every six months to a year, um, just to put some new coolant in it to get it going. Premixed coolant is the way to go. I, I did so much uh, research on premixed coolant coolants. They will let you keep your loop running the longest without the least amount of problems. Clear is even better because there's no gunk in it, no extra stuff, no whatever. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with colored ones if you want to take that chance. I decided not to. I want it clear, so I'm going to get clear. I'll show you my, my what I got. Unfortunately, that's the only one that I could have got at the time. There's other... there. I mean, I want to get Mayhem. 
Um, but uh, Mayhem didn't have a clear available a new egg, and I didn't really feel like doing with none of the smaller companies. I just wanted to deal with new egg the whole time for most of the stuff I built and bought. Even though I'm mad at new egg, I'm still gonna buy from him every day. So just letting you know. All right, so the fittings. <clears throat> I opened the one box. So I wanted to make sure everything's good. Um, these are chain gun fittings. Now they have non chain gun fittings uh, that are cheaper, but this is one of their more expensive fittings. Uh, I thought they were really awesome. Uh, one of the best fittings they got, so I bought it. I don't care the price. I just wanted the the best, what I thought was attractive uh, to my eye. <laughs> you know, so uh, you know, uh, basically uh, computer porn. So um, they can't. These are chain gun fittings. Uh, let me move a little bit of stuff to the side, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna move a little bit. So. Move those few. I'll move um, these right here, and we'll talk about these in a little bit. Um, and then we'll move um, these to the side too. All right. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so um, that's um, all right. So. Let me show you what I got here. These are monsoon chain gun fittings, okay? Beautiful, beautiful fittings. Um, everybody from Bits Power to Coolants to uh, Alpha Cool, um, all these companies make really good products as far as I know. Um, you know, so, you know, if you ever decide to do water build to cool, it, it doesn't matter what company you go with. You know, they all seem to be doing really good at their product, so I don't think there's a problem with it. Um, so, uh, it depends on how you want to make your yours. I'm sorry about that, yawning. Um, but, <clears throat> all right, so these are the most expensive, and they come in the, the least amount in a pack. Um, these are chain gun finish. You get four in a pack, um, and these are the premium chain gun fittings. Now they have non-premium chain gun fittings, maybe a cheap, teeny wee bit cheaper, maybe a dollar or two cheaper, but um, I'm, I'm not worried about the dollar two uh, because the, the reason I bought these is because of the premium chain gun fittings. These are mission critical fittings. <clears throat> uh, let me explain a little bit of that before I, I really start explaining more about them, but they're mission critical because they you glue them, or there's a part that's a plastic part that you glue onto the the uh, hard tubing, and it become it makes a uh, a, a a hook to put your fittings uh, your fittings in, and then what happens is once you hook them down, they're hooked on there. That glue will be stuck; it won't move. They won't move. It will be mission critical. That means basically you can take your computer and pack it up, take it to a LAN party, and don't have to worry about a leak. Okay? Now, <clears throat> as long as everything else holds, you should be fine. But with these fittings and this way they showed it, which if you go to Monsoon's, uh, go look at Monsoon um, uh, Premium Fittings, I think, on YouTube, and you'll see their. Uh, and their video that shows them using it basically they have like a 10 to 20 pound dumbbell holding upside down on the fitting on a free weight pulling on the fitting while it's hooked on to one of their um, uh, tubing and you know he just has it singing hanging there and he's saying that once it's it's there it's it's not gonna you know it's gonna break that's 10 pounds on one one fitting so, you know, hooked up upside down. So it, it impressed me. So with that being said, I, I know that I seen when I did the water cool, uh, you know, research, um, I found a lot of people saying that, um, you know, some of them busted their loops and all that good stuff um, because of the compression fittings, the way they're made is no matter what you do, they're still just kind of just jammed in there but they're not, they're not, nothing is holding them 
down with the with the hard fittings. The soft fittings, there is ones that clamp down, so it's less likely that's going to happen. Um, but on the hard fittings, they don't do that. But with these fittings, um, like I said, they made these for that. So, uh, sorry about that. I just just wanted to let y'all know why I picked these out and why they're so expensive. But they, they come with a tool uh, for you to install them with. Um, but, you know, um, that that's interesting. <coughs> and uh, here they are. Um, I bought um, a pack of four. So it's four, eight, 12. I think I only need about 10 or eight. But I bought an extra pack just in case. Uh, if you looked at my build, you see that, you know, out of all the parts, there was only, you know, two for each one, two for six and eight so it should be only eight um or, or ten because you got the water reservoir two in the bottom so ten all together uh or really technically eleven so because i'm gonna have the uh the uh the uh this this one right here which i'll open in a minute but okay so you get the <clears throat> okay so you get the fitting um to show you what the fitting looks like so here's the fitting uh, it's two-part fitting. Um, that's the bottom of the fitting. That's the top of the fitting. And then what the part is that, this is the mission critical part. You take this and you glue it to, you glue it to your hard tubing and then that will stop this from moving after that. Once these two are together, it will no longer, once these three are the three parts are combined this on the tube this this in here um, or well this really goes in there but once it once this comes in here it won't pass this part and it, and it does that plus look how beautiful these chain gun fittings look they these are awesome I mean I know look how beautiful these are I don't know if y'all can see that in this camera I'm hoping y'all can um, unfortunately I don't have nobody to look at the cameraman but yeah, these 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 are awesome fittings. I mean, beautiful. Um, here's uh, the washers you get, uh, or here's the uh, yeah the washers you get. Are they washers or the uh, seals or whatever? Oh, get those. And then here's the uh, the mission critical. Um, so you know you get to uh, you know to make sure you have a good tight seal, and you should be good to go. So. <clears throat> You know they all four same. So let me let me pull out all four of them here just for just to show you what they look like. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and close this up. So tighten it up. All right. So once you're in there, see look that don't even come out. I mean other than the little washers that come out. But all right, here's one. Let's pull these out. Two. Three and four. So those are chain gun fittings. Like I said, they're pretty pretty. They're uh, they're very pretty. I like how they are. These are the chrome black. Okay. And uh, what's going to happen is, all right. <clears throat> I brought some other parts here. Okay. That will go with this. So now this came from uh, this is called an X X S P C fitting. And I, I don't know who they are. Uh, well, I, I kind of know who they are, but uh, this, that's another fitting. This is a uh, chrome black uh, XPC fitting. Um, it, it's just a water ball joint. It's for me to make a uh, um, a, uh, a a uh, release valve to for to, to release the uh, water. I'll put it on the bottom on the uh, in on the inside because uh, it's is. The, the intake on the bottom because I mean the the intake on the bottom I'm gonna put it on there because I'm not gonna put anything on the intake it's not gonna intake anything the only thing's going to out and the intake is gonna be uh, an out for um, when I turn everything off and have to re refill everything but other than that the outs going with the pump and then the end technically is gonna be on top so the other end take will be an out technically. Um, it shouldn't be a problem with that because it won't be on when that when that when when I'm done <laughs> filling it. All right, so and here's uh, some other uh, fittings I need for this. 
um, which is a uh, male to male uh, G quarter fitting. Um, <clears throat> once again, Monsoon don't make those either. So, oh, snap, I, I ripped the bag. <laughs> so, the, the pretty bag is all messed up. Okay. So, these are male to male. And the reason is, uh, this is female to female. So, I need a, a piece to go into uh, both uh, here and then into my uh, uh, reservoir. So, this can come out. And then I can, uh, you know, put something like a little tube in there and then poop, turn it up and it going. So, you know, and if you look, you'll see a little ball in there move. So uh, hopefully I can see that. But yeah, I mean, I didn't need four of them, but they came in a pack of four for like a few bucks. So I went and took it. You see, that's a dark, uh, even though it's supposed to be uh, black chrome, it's darker than even the, uh, even this. But it's still go. It's still pretty close to these, and they they still look pretty good together. Um, look at that. All right, and I got four of those here. Um, I don't think I'll need all four, but um, you know, um, you never know. So it might pop up. And then the <clears throat> here's the uh, like I said, I'm not doing a bending. So these only come in single boxes. Okay, and I have uh, two, four, six, eight, and these are my 90 degree, uh, 90 degree fittings, right? So I'm taking out one of those. All right, so these are my Monsoon 90 degree fittings, and these are light port fittings, okay? Uh, let me put that right there. All right, these are light port fittings, okay? Look, 90 degree light, look how beautiful these fittings are. But these are 90 degree light port fittings. Now you see they have a hole on both sides, and you're probably like, "How's that nine degree?" Well, you you one of the ends. I mean, technically you can use these as uh, pass-throughs if you wanted to. So I could easily put one of these on here and and use them as some kind of pass-through. But what you want to do is tech. I mean, well, I'm not gonna say what you want to do because you can do anything you want. But and these are rotary fittings, so they do turn. <clears throat> but what you want to do is on these is that you want to use a light port in the back or you know whatever side you consider the back uh, and uh, you know, basically the water would come up here and then you would either seal off this this end or this end so the water would come up here um, the bottom side see it's open and then so you have you know you're fitting here and then the water come up here and then it will go this way, this way, depending on which one you fill up, uh, uh, a stop, stop. So you can put a stop fitting in here, um, and there's a uh, couple of types of fittings, and I'm gonna show you those, because those are the little baggies I had. Those will kinda go with this. So let me let me show you those fittings. Um, and it comes with uh, some O-rings too, um, two of them that's over there um, that you can put in there. Um, so this and this oh it's the same thing <laughs> about something different okay these and these all right so this port will work with all three of these now this was kind of a a buy I shouldn't have made, but I made it and I'm gonna use them anyway <laughs> because I did buy them. I mean, I could technically send them back to new, to uh, eBay, but uh, or Amazon, but uh, I'm gonna use them anyway. Uh, these are <clears throat> um, plugs, okay, that have a silver coil on them to prevent uh, from. Um, stuff growing in your loop. Um, now, I have a premix and it shouldn't worry about that, but I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug this into my radiators and those open ports on the top, um, just to have uh, them in there. So, well, you know, it will give me some peace of mind with the loop, okay? So I'm gonna use them anyway. So um, I'm, I'm not gonna take them out of the package because 
you know, they're so small or whatever, but uh, let me see if I can show it to you. So that that's what it is. It's got uh, two washers and here's the silver coil and then here's the back, which is still um, the chrome black um, looking. Okay, so we got, I got like eight of these. I, I thought, I thought these were these. So <clears throat> let me open this baggie because it's a baggie within baggie. It's baggies within baggies. <clears throat> All right, now these are plug back plugs to this. Okay, um, and this is what I thought these were. I wasn't paying attention when I ordered them. Um, so these are technically what I was trying to order, <laughs> but uh, I ended up ordering these. So I'm gonna use these on the radiators. Uh, I've got eight of them, and I think I only need four, or I might just put all eight of them into the radiators in the in the spots that got open, um, just to put them in there, um, just to make them look a little, you know, a little bit more pretty, maybe. Um, but basically, they'll go in the radiators, or I can put them somewhere else in the loop. But I'm not, I'm probably not. I'm just gonna put them in the radiators. That's the easiest place to put them at. Uh, or I might put one on uh, one of the side, or I might take two of these and put them on the side of my um, GPU, my GPU block, because my GPU block has two openings on both sides. I'll put one coming in for the loop, and then coming out on the other side loop. I'll put one on this side and one of these on each side. So when the water comes through and touch these, you know they'll 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 get that. And then also in those, I just I, I I'm just gonna just overkill it, you know. I mean, they say you just need one of these, but my system's gonna have quite a few, so we'll, we'll work it out. And then, all right, now, yeah, see, I got a nice couple packs of these, so we're good. Um, and then the last uh, thing here with this is, all right, this uh, these are light ports, okay? They're uh, light connections that go in the back of there and it seals it off and it will give me a light. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, I just didn't notice something. Hmm. Oh, this ain't my light pillow. This ain't my light port. <laughs> okay, there, there, we got two of them here. I'm sorry. That's what I was trying to figure out. <laughs> this is a, uh, a, sorry about that pause there. I was trying to figure out what the hell's going on. All right, this is a temperature uh, probe. I could put in one of those, which I'll put one um, probably when I'm going from my, uh, one of my, um, I'm going to go from one of my, um, reservoir or not my reservoir damn it one of my radiators to my cpu loop or cpu loop and i'm gonna put it right there at that bend um, i'm gonna put this on the bend of the cpu loop uh, put it into a uh, uh you know a, a, a heat sensor or a heat sensor and be able to get that uh heat off there and find out keep that also these are light uh light ports so I put that in the back um, on some of them. Um, I'm hoping at least four. Um, I bought four packs. So I'm gonna try to strategically put these around to light up um, major points in there um, to you know get some light up in there. Uh, hopefully to make it bright at night or something like that. So I, I'm hopefully it's work. I, I think these are supposed to be blue because it comes in blue and black. And I heard there the color, but one color is the color of the light, and the other color being black is just the cabling to make it look different. Which you can swipe out the cable to black or blue. I'm gonna use the black cables, but I think the light's gonna be blue, so I might have a blue tinge to my water. Which if it does, it just is. I mean, I, I wanted to make it a uh, RGB, but they don't make these in RGB colors; only single colors. I was gonna buy the Thermaltake RGB ones, but when I found out about the mission critical connections, well, 
hey, it changed everything. So, um, so that's with the fittings. Like I said, I got a lot of them here. I'm, move, I'm, on, I'm about to move them out of the way, um, and then we're gonna un oh, we're gonna look at that um, um, things here. So we're gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well, you know what? Let me just move these right here, and we'll we'll work with what we got, the room we got. Because I'm not gonna put all that stuff up yet because it'll take a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, put them up. All right. Um, we can probably put this one up. All right. Yeah, I can do that one, not a problem. All right. And. All righty. Move these. And let's move these. All right, now, I only got two more things to open here. Uh, really, I'm not gonna even open this. Uh, I just wanna show it to you. Um, these are Thermaltake uh, Ring, uh, Ring Plus uh, Premium, 16.8 uh, million colors. So these are going to be every color in the rainbow, unlike the Thermotake, uh, the water block. It only has 256 colors, but uh, and, and I'd rather have the same. But you know, it is what it is. Maximum 1500 uh, RPMs, um, 24.7 decibels. Um, you know, so they're 25. So I could probably use those. See, 25 millimeters thick. So I could probably use those. Uh, the 30 millimeter uh, screws for my uh, radiators. All right, so we're opening up. Um, okay, there's the fans. Um, some stuff on it. I mean, pretty much it's just a fan, um, the controller. Um, I'm, there's a lot of places that show these. So technically, I, I don't I don't even need to open them. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, if y'all really want to go, y'all really want me to open them. I mean, you know, leave some comments. I guess I can unbox them maybe. I mean, what, what's the point? I mean, I, like I said, I, it'll be until the 15th before I'm probably open them anyway. So, um, but if you really want me to unbox my wheel, uh, I'll make another video for that if you want me to. But, eh, I don't think I will. All right, and then uh, here's uh, another little little thing I got here. <laughs> Man, got a lot of little stuff here. And I might need to order me um, some more uh, header extensions because I got a lot of stuff on the headers. I mean, in the Aces board got a lot of hair, so I should be okay. Um, but if I don't, I'll, I'll buy some extend. I'll buy an extender and then have it uh, next day to me through New Egg or whatever, or you know, and maybe not next day, but you know, it's two days shipping. So, you know, if I if I once I start looking at what's going on and and I can probably tell y'all, you know, if I need the next one or not. All right, so I thought I opened it before. No, I didn't. All right, so. This is a flow sensor. <laughs> Man, I got a lot of stuff. All right, so damn, it's so tight. All right, On both sides. Okay. Damn it. I don't know how you get this out. Okay, there we go. All right, this is a flow sensor. Right, nothing else in there. All right, this is a Alpha Cool Flow Sensor. Okay, mm, I'll put it somewhere in my loop. Um, got braided cable, um, a sensor to read the how fast you know. It's basically like a fan, um, but it's a flow sensor. Uh, put it somewhere in my loop, probably closer down towards my uh, my pump when it's coming up. So. I'm trying to think if I need, I might need, I might have to buy me one single more of these because I might need two, two between these two, um, to, uh, yeah, see, it would be like that. And then another one we on the other side. Um, <sighs> well, we'll we'll figure it out. 
we will figure it out. So this will be a flow sensor um, to make sure my flow is going. So in case my pump ever goes out, that's why I'm going to have it close to my pump. Um, so I'm thinking about having it right when it comes out. Um, you know, I got coming out here, get a 90, okay? And if I have my 90, um, I can have this going. Well, see, I can use these males right here, these female males. So I can have it coming out to my 90, my 90 going up. I can have this into my 90. All right, and then into my 90 coming up. So probably have about a, you know, about this far. Hmm, I might need to buy me another pack of uh, fittings. <laughs> Hope not, because uh, I already put a little enough money on this, but I might have to. Uh, I'm, I'm brainstorming. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but once again, it's a vlog, so um, I do apologize for that. But basically, that's the only thing I'm, you know, I, I got one more thing to show. Um, and then basically, this is done with the vlog um, for today, for part one. Uh, so I'm going to hold it off and we'll show you the, the reservoir and the pump and the tubing and... Ah, snap. And I still got my GPU and my GPU block. So, we'll show those. And then, pretty much, we're done. This is a long one. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to do long one or mini ones, but we'll see. I might cut it up into two smaller ones. Who knows? But, 